Welcome to the program, Dr. Ransom. Thank you. Yeah, so I uh, run a local chapter of a national organization called Healing the Children, and we uh, coordinate international medical missions specifically for facial birth defects, um, cleft lip, cleft palate, uh, and microtia, which is an external ear uh, deformity. Um, yeah, I hadn't heard about uh, microtia. I have seen some of the work that Healing the Children has done. I've seen the before and after pictures of these kids, and most of them mm -hmm. are in Central and South America from the pictures I've mm -hmm. seen. They're born with cleft palates and in some mm -hmm. cases shunned in their villages where they live. It's not exactly mm -hmm. um, it's San Francisco or Midtown Manhattan. They don't live in, in a, a really industrialized mm -hmm. world. And so mm -hmm. changing their appearance could pretty much change their future. Yeah, absolutely. So there's really kind of three phases of the improvement, if you want to think of it this way. Okay. Uh, for a baby that doesn't have like a social consciousness yet, the main problem with a cleft lip or cleft palate is actually eating, uh, is receiving milk from the mother. Um, then as the kids start to develop, the, the big problem is speech acquisition. So we'll have a lot of patients who have a normal throat, normal voice box, normal lungs, but don't speak because they were made fun of or didn't ever learn how to make you know, appropriate pronunciations uh, because of a defect with a cleft lip or cleft palate that hasn't been repaired yet. And then later in life, for patients who are not repaired, uh, there's obviously social isolation, assumptions about intelligence that are really not valid based on um, you know, their facial features, et cetera. Yeah, that's, that is so heartbreaking when you think about it. Uh, but you talk about from the birth where the child is having a difficult time being fed and then they are isolated, they don't speak. You guys mm -hmm. at Healing the Children have changed the lives of a, a quarter of a million or so kids in 95 countries. Where are you mm -hmm. off to in your next round? So Peru, uh, which although this now looks like it's going to be 2021, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, but... Um, Typically, we go every spring to Peru. Um, we use the regional hospital in the state of Ica, I-C-A, Ica, um, which is about four hours south of Lima, kind of in the, the desert part of southern Peru. Um, and we use a regional government hospital, and we actually have a system where we get um, the Peruvian military brings patients from all over the country to the hospital for the week that we're there. Really? Um, and so we're able to take on, you know, need, the neediest cases from kind of around the country of Peru. Um, typically 80 to 100, you know, procedures are done over a one-week period in the spring. That's kind of amazing. 80 to 100 procedures on these young kids who are dealing with cleft palate issues or issues with their mm -hmm. ears and you mm -hmm. plastic surgeons who are donating your time work to correct it um that mm -hmm. the aftercare if they're not in mm -hmm. a hospital how quickly do these kids heal because i know when i see a kid fall and skin their knee uh yeah. kids, kids you can pretty much watch their skin heal <laughs> as yeah. they're getting up yeah that is a major benefit of having, you know, young patients who are otherwise generally healthy. Um, the operation itself takes two to three hours, and then the patients usually only stay in the hospital for about 24 hours afterwards. Um, overall healing, I mean, it really does take, you know, weeks to months for all the tissues to really come together in a functional way. Um, but the the healing is quite quick compared to other procedures that you may think of like you know hip or knee surgery or something to that effect yeah i would imagine i would imagine the skin is really an amazing organ uh dr ransom how long have you mm -hmm. been working with healing for children healing the children since 2011 so nine nine years and uh, i started out i was doing my fellowship in new york city and I started out working with the Healing the Children Northeast chapter. Uh, and then when I relocated to California after completing my training, um, I started a, a chapter here uh, in Northern California. And we sort of co-coordinate our, our missions now uh, to take advantage of volunteers, both from the Bay Area and from the greater New York City and Connecticut kind of area. That's so cool. Do you ever run into any of the kids that you worked on in the first couple of years? 
Actually, yes, we encourage that. So um, insofar as it's possible for patients to come in for follow-up, some patients who live very far away or who are um, economically challenged, it's not possible. But insofar as it is possible to get follow-up, we, ha- we like to have prior patients come back uh, in subsequent years for us to you know, check on their healing and make sure that everything is going well. Uh, we also bring pediatricians and speech and language therapists that can work with the children on other issues that, that may um, sort of correlate to or be related to the uh, cleft lip and palate surgeries that we've done in the past. That's just got to, it makes my heart feel really warm when you talk about that. And I'm sure when you see these kids and you see them smile and see the work you've done, it makes you feel good too. Doc, if Absolutely. If, if those of us who are not surgeons and won't be on the trip with you would like to help out or learn more, where do we go? So Healing the Children has a national website, and then each individual chapter has a website. Um, you can Google it. Ours is htc-norcal.org. Um, NorCal being Northern California. Uh, But the national organization will accept donations financially and also in terms of supplies. Um, We do have uh, on each trip uh, a handful of non-medical personnel administrators that come to help with logistics, uh, moving volunteers around, making sure equipment is set up, speaking with you know, local dignitaries, et cetera, to make sure that um, everything goes smoothly. So there's a variety of, of opportunities to get involved from something as simple as clicking a PayPal donation button to actually joining us on one of the trips. Yeah, taking maybe your vacation time and being part of a mission. What a great idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, doctor, I appreciate the work you do so much, and I'm sure the families that you are helping and these individuals even more so Thank you. We will send everybody to htcnorcal.org, htcnorcal.org, if you want to find out more or maybe throw a couple shekels at them. Thanks, Doc. (laughs) Thank you so much. Take care. Have a great day. And there he goes. Great stuff from the doctor. I, I think in times like these, we need to look for stories that will inspire us. 